the channel. Welcome back. <laughs> so today we were sitting here kind of talking about, well, we get asked a lot about like financial things, like financial questions. How do we save so much? How do we this? How do we that? Mm -hmm. um, so we just kind of wanted to come on today and give you guys a couple like kind of investment or saving hacks that we kind of have that we do regularly, which help us to save a lot of money. And then in turn, we're able to buy more things. So these are going to be just like five life hacks that you can yeah. save money with, um, be able to become more disciplined and just take control of your life financially. So here we go. All right. So the first thing that has to happen is you have to focus and be able to work on discipline. So what I mean is if you do not have the discipline to do small things, we won't be able to do big things like manage the debt on a credit card or um, save money every week or every month. So let's start out with simple things. And I'm not trying to insult anybody's intelligence or make any anybody feel like they don't do these things. But I have been in parts of my life and haven't done these things. So I'm going to just communicate the few things I know. So first thing, if you get up in the morning and you can't even make your bed, that's a that's a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> it's a big deal because it trickles to everything else. You haven't completed the first thing of the day, right? So I would say work on doing a couple of things like making your bed, uh, planning your meal uh, throughout the day, um, meditating, getting up and taking 15 to 30 minutes and exercising. Just those things that can get your mind focused on starting something and completing something using discipline all right and i know like i said we all have levels of discipline but let's try to you know build on those and try to create an environment where we're making good decisions we're being disciplined with our time and our energy and that we can make those financial steps that'll help us save money and be prosperous all right so i would say that goes right into like budgeting um making a budget is like the number one thing like i'm i love making budgets for like everything i like spreadsheets like <laughs> anytime i can make a spreadsheet i'm like all in and so excited press is like did you just make a budget like a couple days ago i'm like yeah but da 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 so I love making like budgets and things of that sort. So that way I just like know where we are, you mm -hmm. know, what we can do and certain things of that sort. Um, but I think budgeting is a really, really big one. Um, another thing that she uses when she budgets is she analyzes and then she reanalyzes. And this is the thing I don't like because we just seem like we bring up the same thing over again. But it's crucial. <laughs> and I know I might get irritated with it, but it's crucial. So... For example, say our food budget is $500, and that's low for any family of three or four, right? Definitely. But um, say you have a budget for your food, say it's $500, and you track it. So for us, we track it on a whiteboard, and we write down every time we go to the grocery store, and then we put it then on the budget on a spreadsheet on the computer, right? So Plus, I like to keep it on the refrigerator, so yeah. that way it, like... Let you know every time you go in the refrigerator, like, you know. It's a physical reminder. <laughs> Definitely. And, <laughs> and so, like, the more you go shopping, the more you can see that it's the... the it's adding up. It's adding up, right? So, we she reanalyzes it. All right, well, we're getting close to our budget. Do we, do we need to, you know, stretch it? Do we need to be more disciplined and get less things? So, it, it's that it takes discipline. Definitely. So, and it takes to be honest with yourself to be able to say, you know what, we might need to up this $500 meal budget or whatever, right? Definitely. So, that's a big part of it is analyzing and then reanalyzing, putting in your variables and making sure that you account for everything. So, what goes well with budgeting is, of course, like coupon clipping. I love clipping coupons. Like, <laughs> when they come in the mail, and it's so perfect here, because, like, where we live at now, they actually come in the mail. Like, where we used to live, you would have to get the newspaper. Mm -hmm. But I don't know, like, here, they come in the mail, so I definitely get the ones in the mail. And then I also will get the ones from the newspaper because they are different. And then if I'm at the store and I see that they have the store coupons, I definitely like to get the coupons. I like to double coupon. Certain stores let you like double and triple coupon. Plus, you can use the rewards card. So that's perfect. Like if you are budgeting, 
and you're on top of your budget, mm -hmm. that really can help cut some of that like grocery list down in half really good, especially when it comes to like the toiletries, like the um, dishwashing detergent, um, the mm -hmm. things that go in the like regular dishwashing liquid. Um, I mean, anything, toilet paper, yeah, paper towel. Everything. But I tell you that I know we sound old Even by rice. saying <laughs> the newspaper and magazines, but they have digital coupons. You can Definitely, go to the uh, yes. store's website, price compare. Um, a lot of grocery stores or stores that sell the same thing, they um, they price sell match stuff, too. They price match, but they they rotate their sales. So avocados might be on sale in one store at, yeah. on one week, and then the next week it's on sale somewhere else. So whatever you get, whatever you're looking for, just know that you can price match and price compare. All right, and, and don't forget about those coupons. Well, we're not even <laughs> even just talking about food or toiletries or anything. We're talking about everything that you spend money on, whether it be gas. Um, I mean, whatever you spend money on, make sure you price compare, you research it. Don't ever get something if you haven't researched it and understood the quality and, and, and make sure that it's something that you want to get and you support. Sometimes we buy things out of a habit. Yeah. So make sure that or it's something that's or too. convenience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tradition. I mean, yeah. if your mom always used Domino sugar, I mean, maybe you don't want to use Domino. That's just an example. You know what I mean? Definitely, so. Yeah. Pick what you want, make sure you price compare, and and make sure you analyze your purchases. So I know this is kind of weird, but this kind of goes with budgeting also and like my extreme couponing. I love to do the credit card hacks. Like <laughs> um, I have credit cards and I always get the credit cards that have the rewards. And I always use the credit cards that go so like this is just for instance, uh, let's say my Discover credit card is so nice because every quarter, basically, so like every three months, they rotate their 5%. Mm -hmm. So like this month is um, gas, Uber, and Lyft. So if I use Uber, Lyft, or get gas for my rewards, I get 5% for those items. For the other things, I only get 1%. So for everything that's not gas, Lyft, and Uber, mm -hmm. I'll use a credit card that I'll get better rewards for. So mm -hmm. like maybe with Chase right now, they're having a, you know, 5% back on their, um, groceries or anytime you go to like a grocery store so of course i would rather use my chase card at the grocery store because i'll get more reward points mm -hmm. and the most important thing if you do use a credit card do not wait until the payment is due to pay it yep. go ahead and just like i treat it as a debit card as soon as i use it i wait for it to post and then i pay it before the bill is actually due because what's the point of getting the rewards if you're going to end up having to pay the interest you never want to pay interest on a credit card it's just a waste of money <laughs> you want to get the most out of your credit cards that you can get so let's get all the money we can from these people because they rob us wine. So mm -hmm. I love to, love to, love to get the credit cards with the most rewards. Absolutely. And just think, I mean, we you can live by the old code. If you don't have cash, you shouldn't get it and don't use a card. Definitely. But what I'm telling you is, is that if you can make money, spending money on something that you already accounted for in the expense, why wouldn't you do it? Yeah. For, for example... First of all, you should never purchase anything with a credit card you haven't um, accounted for in your expenses. That's to start, right? <laughs> so if you accounted for, we uh, we use groceries, we'll go back to it. If you accounted for $500 worth of groceries and that's what you accounted for, uh, yes, you can use a credit card because you have the finance or the money in the budget to back it. So you can then immediately pay it if you need to. Don't use a credit card to borrow money. Ever. Yeah. Use it as ever, a tool ever. to spend, okay? And for you to get back money. And that's what she's trying to communicate. Get that 5% cash back. Get that 1%. That's, <laughs> I mean, that's like going and spending money and getting money, uh, in like, a, yeah, yeah, in return. Come on now. Why not? Why not do that? And then you exactly. can pay your bills. You can do other things with that money. So make sure you do And that. the most perfect thing is like, we actually racked up enough, um, credit card rewards for mm -hmm. like Christmas gifts. Like we didn't even yep. have to come out of pocket for like nope. anything for Christmas and still have money left over mm -hmm. to put in our savings because like we just did the best and made the best out of all of our credit card, credit card reward, reward points. Yeah. <laughs> yep. 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 So just definitely, um, if you guys are using credit cards, make sure you make the best out of them. And if mm -hmm. you don't, I always recommend getting a credit card 
with the most reward points and get that free money. And and no annual fee. Zero annual oh, fee. Definitely, yeah. You know, no transaction fees, stuff like that. Do your research. And if you're confused, you check out one of our other videos about credit cards that we'll post and it'll be in detail. <laughs> we haven't posted it yet, but it's yeah. coming. All right. So um what I will say also is that um credit cards, if you do not have the discipline right now, then don't do not use them. You yeah. gotta know yourself at all times. If that's more of a temptation for you to go buy the, that new pair of shoes or that nice dress or whatever you want to do, just don't, don't do, do it. Don't do it. Yeah, definitely. Don't do it. <laughs> just go ahead and stick with your plan. But I'm telling you, be careful because we use debit cards out of time. Um, people, the skimmers and scammers that can get your uh, cards and get your account information. Now that's direct access to your money. It's yeah. not, you know, anything that can be... Uh, called and, and collected back. Oh, know. yeah, and the credit card companies, like, they don't play that. They get that right away. Like, yep. you call them, they stop it, or, you know, they fix it and figure it out for you so you don't even have to worry when and you get a credit card. a lot of debit card companies, they charge you fees, and then they're going to charge you money to get cash out. And we're just going through all this stuff with everything that this, this virus is doing to everybody. So watch paper money touching it all the time. Mm -hmm. So pay attention to those things. I know I'm off on a tangent, but yeah. <laughs> A really good thing to do is to just make sure that you are saving your money. That's so, the most important thing. <laughs> Tell them to pay yourself back. That's the most important Definitely, thing. Definitely, yes. Make sure you pay yourself back. So you want to make sure that you're saving the most money that you can. Mm -hmm. So what I like to do is... Um, I like to do high interest savings account, which right now, like the feds have cut interest rates. So they're not that good. So really mm -hmm. investing is a lot better, mm -hmm. but definitely make sure if you're nervous about investing or you don't really know a lot about the stock market or you mm -hmm. don't want to do a CD and have your money tied up for so long, like at least try to put your money in a high interest savings account because mm -hmm. if it's just sitting in a regular savings account, you're only earning like one penny and even with high interest savings, like you're still not getting that much money when you count in inflation because inflation typically goes yeah. up about 2% every year. And even if you have your money in a high interest savings account, the most you're probably making, I know like Marcus, they're doing like, they had like 1.85, but I think it went down mm -hmm. to like 1.50. Yeah. But that's apples and oranges. So definitely like do your research if you are going to do a high interest savings account. Yep. But if you are like saving money, don't just have it in a traditional savings. Make mm -hmm. sure you are at least putting it in a high interest savings account. And, and savings is risk free, especially because you should be banking with a FDIC insured bank. Yeah. So if it's if it's <laughs> FDIC, you should be fine. So it's zero risk. You put your money in the bank. When you put it in, you can get it out. It's, it's zero free. It's zero risk. Zero Excuse risk. me. Yeah. Zero risk. All right. <laughs> Unless you have over 250, and if you do have over $250,000, then maybe take what's over the 250000 and put it in a different account. So that way you get all your money. So mm -hmm. like if you have like $500,000, don't put all 500000 in one bank in case you're scared and something happens to the banks, you won't lose your money. So go ahead and just take 250 out and put it in another account, basically. That's up to you. If you got two hundred fifty thousand, right. <laughs> by all means, you know, work with that. But if you're if you're working with hundreds and thousands of dollars, definitely save. Definitely. Pay yourself back. Most important thing. All right. So the next thing we want to talk about is investing your money, and this could be stocks. This could be real estate. This could be anything that if you uh, put some money in that you have a, get a return from, whether it be a fractional, whether it be whatever. Right. Um. So. What I want to let you all know is that um, investing in anything, there's a risk, right? There's no 100% guarantee that you're going to get a return. Um, you can lose money in the stock market, on real estate, any of these things, um, uh, foreign exchange, anything, right? Um, so you have to, one, be educated. Um, so sit down. There's plenty of YouTube uh, videos that talk about foreign exchange, stock market, real estate, all these different things. And if um, you want us to do some videos, let us know. We can sure. do some videos on like investing and things of that sort too, if you guys want to know about mm -hmm. that. And that's things that if you spend time playing video games or watching TV and stuff, just take 10, 15 minutes a day and do some research on one of those things and just become more aware. Because I'm telling you, 
people are are becoming rich and they're um, diversifying their their wealth and being able to I mean just become um, wealthy inside our economy by learning how to work the stock market, learning how to work the real, real estate, estate market. market. Yeah, it's yep. a lot of money in real estate and you get a lot of tax benefits from real estate. But just don't do it blindly. Educate yourself. But our example is, so if I take $100, invest it into the stock market, it doesn't have to be into one particular company or the other. other. It could be. But if I take $100 and my now I now grow my money two, three, four percent. I just made more money than I would in a high interest savings account Definitely. than I would in a year. You're beating inflation really, right? really. If good. I put that same hundred dollars <laughs> in the savings account, so yeah. it you can do it. You have to uh, learn how to work those uh, the apps or the um, your brokerage account. If you need a broker. And you need to try to figure all those things out. Talk to somebody. I'm not a money advisor. I'm not like a licensed broker or anything like that. So I'm not trying to give you any advice. This is all just my perspective and my opinion. But if you are trying to diversify yourself and make sure that you don't have all your rocks in one in one jar, you need to make sure that you save, you budget, you save, and then that you invest in something, you know? So and don't invest. This is just me. I wouldn't invest if you don't have at least an emergency fund. Absolutely. Like I always recommend have at least three to six months worth of money saved set aside just in case of an mm -hmm. emergency. So unless you have that, I would not personally recommend investing any money. But once you have that, then you can go ahead and start. I would recommend start investing because you, like you said, you'll make so much more money investing yep. than you than you will in like a traditional, even a CD, a treasury bonds, like any. Thing like that, you're gonna make so much more money on your investments if you do investing. Absolutely, I mean, taking twenty dollars that you spend eating out every week, you could take that and turn that into a thousand dollars in a matter of a year, which you didn't even realize that you could do, and that could be just from saving, let alone trying to put it into the market and letting it multiply. You know what I mean? So just make sure that you become educated, um, research some of these things, and no matter what, save your money. Definitely. Right. <laughs> so we thank you guys for definitely joining into the channel. Um, definitely tune in again. Um, like and subscribe. If you guys have any recommendations, definitely leave them in, you know, in the comment section. Mm -hmm. Or you can go to our Instagram page if you don't want everyone to see all of your um, comments or anything. And you yep. can leave us like a direct message on Instagram and we'll definitely get back to you guys. Um, Absolutely. But definitely, thank you for checking us out. Appreciate it. Deuces. Deuces.